Hey guys, we're finally reviewing HMB Cosmetics on this channel. I know it's been long awaited, so here it is. I have already tried the concealer and the powder and I'll give you my thoughts and show the application and stuff, but today we're really testing out the foundation. The packaging is really cute. It's plastic, I mean, there's nothing special about it, but I find that the twisty up lid is convenient and the matte look, it looks really nice. Now I did get mine on TikTok shop because sometimes they do have offers, so do check on there, but you can shop this on on boots.com it retails for 20 pounds they've got 25 shades which is good i feel like they've got decent deep shades a few nice tan shades a nice pale shade i feel like they've got a good mixture so what else does it say on here it's a full coverage luminous finish perfect for all skin types leaves the skin looking flawless gives a healthy and radiant look to the skin covers blemishes and pigmentation wear with the soft focus airbrush concealer and loose powder for the perfect combination twist up pumps so you never lose the lid which is why it's so convenient cruelty free and vegan which is a huge plus overall the foundation sounds really nice for me so the shade i grabbed is is LF11N. I'm really hoping this is my shade because it's so hard and I haven't seen these in stores for me to you know swatch so fingers crossed let's quickly um I'm not gonna put primer mm, I put primer these days you know I'm just gonna do you know what I'm gonna prep my skin how I usually do first the SPF and I'm just trying to put the least amount of product so we can really put this foundation to the test I've really been liking the NYX pump right back primer all right skin's now prepped oh i think i think we got the right shade this is what the shade is looking like a good match you know i'm just going to use my beauty blender to start blending this out i don't want to put too much because i don't like a really really full coverage finish i want to see if i can just get you know the right amount but so far this is blending really well i'm going to do it one side first so we can really compare i'm gonna put a little bit on my cheek because i do have a quite a bit of scarring on my cheeks uh first of all the match is spot on i mean shout out to layla on tiktok and instagram she's my shade twin and i did refer to her videos to help me find um the perfect shade match because what i've always said is when you're shopping online for shades try foundation.com look for swatches on google images for the product that you're shopping for and refer to reviews refer to other influencers that you may know of that have a similar shade to you and i guess that's probably why a lot of you guys come to my videos because you say that you always use my um, reviews as a reference so yeah do those three things if you're really struggling to find a shade online i will tag her in case you guys want to check her out but shade match is bomb okay so this is a side by side comparison i mean it looks flawless it's got the right amount of glow it's got enough coverage i mean i don't like how it's like covered my mouth area but i don't like putting too much product around here either because it starts to give me smile lines overall it's pretty good let's do the other side i would say i used a pump for one side Oh, it's just so satisfying blending foundation. So far, this product deserves the hype it gets because it's looking really, really nice. Let's move on to the Soft Focus Concealer. I use the shade SF 3.5N. I'm not gonna lie, I have been reaching out for this concealer quite a bit. I could go for a more lighter shade, but you know, this works. To be honest, I feel like because it's a little bit on the salmon side, it cancels out any darkness really well. I mean, the concealer is just bomb. Maybe I should go for a lighter shade, I don't know, but you don't even need too much either. And it doesn't crease, it doesn't make my under eyes look weird. The concealer is £16, so I definitely find that these products are not really drugstore, but they're not high-end, they're kind of like in the middle. Now we've got the powder, this is £13.50 on Boots. Now I have used this quite a few times, and I, I can't say that like I'm a huge fan of it, to be honest. I just find it, it's a little bit drying on me, so I haven't been reaching out for it that much anymore. But for the sake of this video, we'll, we'll give it another go, we'll give it another go. Yeah, I'm just really not a fan of this formula. That doesn't mean it won't work for other people, but just for me, like, it's just, 
It's not my favorite. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Makeup's done and guys, it's looking pretty good. It doesn't feel heavy. The coverage is really nice and the shade is spot on. I really, really like the finish. It's really, really pretty. The only thing I would say is that it's a little bit off around my mouth area because I feel like I need to color correct with this foundation, but overall it's, it's looking good. The thing that stands out to me the most is the luminosity of it. It's not too glowy, but it just looks healthy. I think 20 pounds is decent and sometimes you can get it on offer on TikTok, which is a plus. They have a good shade range. So overall right now, I'm quite happy. It's currently 8.30 a.m. right now. So we're gonna wear this for the rest of the day and just see how this sits really. The smile lines are very minimal. You sometimes, some foundations give me smile lines straight off the bat after application, but right now it's, it's controlled. So yeah, let's see how this looks later today. All right guys, it's now just 5.30 p.m. and my skin is definitely more, glowy i don't know if you guys can tell but if you look at my cheeks there's definitely a glow there but it doesn't look oily it just looks like maybe i've been to the gym a little bit i don't know how to explain it but i don't mind it i know to be honest i don't know if this would suit oily skin overall this is right up my street would i wear this again i feel like i need some gloss i definitely would wear this again it's just really flawless looks like skin it looks really good in daylight the shade match is good no smile lines now i really don't like this powder guys i'm sorry like it's just not for me even this concealer i wear it a lot and with my other setting powders it doesn't crease and it looks really nice but with this setting powder from hmb it's just creasing a lot a lot for me i had to like go it was so bad that i had to go like this yeah love the concealer love the foundation i don't have anything bad to say to be honest i'm really happy with it it deserves its hype i really like it would i reach out for it again i would yeah i hope you guys found this review helpful here's a close-up on my skin my it's so hard to do this because my camera is so far away but i hope you guys can really see how good it looks and this is what the eyes are looking like I mean, it's not that bad, but I feel like it can be better. So yeah, those are my overall thoughts on the product. I don't even want to take it off because I love it that much, honestly. Um, even my mouth area looks okay. It doesn't oxidize much, to be honest. The tiniest amount, I would say, but I hope you guys found this review helpful. Um, give this video a like, subscribe so you can join the family, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!